develop these neural pathways in your brain, you develop these eye-hand coordination skills, they're now transferable. Specifically, the surgeons who play, it's mostly left-handed action. I would say 75, 80% of what I'm doing is with my left hand. Um, we also looked at skills such as target. We grow up with computers, with PDAs, with video game systems, with the internet, with uh, you know handheld video games, with cable TV, with remote controls. We've grown up saturated in this technology um, era that we're in, and now we're bringing these skills into the medical profession. A portion of laparoscopic surgeons do not feel comfortable doing this, so uh, the fact that we have how to act aggressively, then yes, maybe that's bad. But if the child is playing a game like Super Monkey Ball, because we're very low hostile, low aggressive even they got more physical fights. So I did all this background research on negative say is that it creates a pathway in your, in your brain such that a, you are used to dealing with this kind of an interface and using no. it. <laughs> okay. um, we were surprised and actually awed by the fact that your video game skill, meaning how well you play, as well as the number of hours you have spent on video games, were very highly correlating, meaning that if you do this well, you will be less error prone, uh, you will be faster, and you will perform better, essentially, at laparoscopic surgery. Regular Nintendo. Double drill. No, no, it's Super Nintendo. Double drill, if you guys play I love ball? double drill. On the original Nintendo. Drain, yeah, you could drain the three from the yeah. bottom right. Thank <laughs> you.